I keep thinking about that phrase, uh, you know, it's like rearranging the chairs on the deck of the Titanic. And that's used as a, a way to, to point out the, the, eff the, the wasted effort of trying to fix something that is doomed or broken. And I think that the more I think about that metaphor of being aboard the Titanic as it's sinking, the more there is to, I think, learn from that. And I remember in the movie, there's that scene where the classical musicians are playing their instruments on deck as the boat is sinking. And the more I think about it, the more beautiful that is. And it doesn't mean that if you have a way to take a bucket and remove the water from the hull, do that. But if there's someone playing musical music, beautiful music, we can appreciate that all the while. And perhaps rearranging the chairs is a beautiful use of our energy. Perhaps rearranging the chairs allows people to maneuver on this sinking ship in a way that avoids more people bumping their knees or getting hurt. Or perhaps it, it arranges the chairs in a way that more people are able to access lifeboats. And I think that using your energy, rearranging chairs or playing music or dancing, while also scooping out water, making sure people can get to the lifeboats, doing what you can, that is a valid way to live a life. Running around panicked, pushing people over, screaming at the people that you think are handling this crisis the wrong way, you are not helping any. And in fact, you are making the experience much worse for everyone. I'm not saying throw your hands up, say we're all sinking, we're doomed. I'm saying in some way we're all doomed, no matter what. So you have to find that balance of how can I do what I can do for myself, for my community, for my country, for the world, while also appreciating the music while also finding ways to live at a high level of value. Like, oh, here's a place where there's someone who has fallen down. Can I help them pick them up? Not check with them and say, did they buy a ticket that means that they are in the upper cabin, so they're not one of mine, I'm not gonna help them? Or, oh, they didn't notice the iceberg soon enough, so I don't care if they get injured. Like, no, we can still be our best humans. And it is only if we can all be being at that best human's level that we have a chance to find that solution. If we're running around pushing people over, elbowing people, stealing lifeboats, the, the only outcome is the worst possible outcome. Do what we can. Keeping our center. Being agents of love. Being demonstrations of value-based inspiration. Finding action. And when we can't find action, finding gratitude. So do your best. Forgive others. Speak your truth. Inspire others through your action. Take action. Visualize. Vote. And appreciate the sunsets, the smiling children, and the sweet, sweet apples. We're gonna have to love each other and be there for each other and not spin out. I love you. I still believe. <laughs>